yet another horrific shooting. Now, as a parent myself, I know the anxiety that comes with sending your kid out into the world every day, living with the real fear of the worst, the worst can happen. So please know that our hearts are with those families in Winder, Georgia, who are forced to face this act of senseless violence. I want to let you know that the president and the vice president have both been briefed and his administration will continue coordinating with federal, state, and local officials as we receive more information. We're grateful for the brave first responders who are on the scene and we stand by, we stand ready to provide support as needed. As the president has said time and time again, this is not normal. This is not normal. Students and teachers deserve to know that their schools are safe. They should focus on learning, not lockdowns. While the president and vice president have taken historic action to reduce gun violence, more must be done to keep our schools and communities safe. We continue to call on Congress to do something, to do something. We need universal background checks. We need ban to ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines, require safe storage of firearms, invest in violence prevention programs and pass a national red flag law. Enough is enough. And I cannot say this enough, which is enough is enough. We cannot allow this to happen in our communities. We cannot allow this to happen in our schools. So we have to do everything that we can to keep our children safe, to keep the people who are supposed to protect our children, where our children who, who are they supposed to learn from safe? And enough is enough. Congress needs to act.